Hello everyone. We have so far seen how to work with numbers using primitive data types. But sometimes in our program we might come across situations where we need to work with numbers but not using primitive data types using objects. Now all the eight primitive data types in Java come along with the classes associated with them called wrapper classes. These are called wrapper classes because they wrap the primitive data types and give us an object of it. Now as you can see on the screen we have the basic declaration using primitive data type of a number that is int x is equal to 25. So we give the data type, we give the name of the variable and we give the value that we want to put in the variable. Now same thing if we have to do using a wrapper class. It would be integer then the variable name. Now integer is the wrapper class for the primitive data type int. So integer followed by the variable name and then we use the keyword new. Now this new keyword is like when we use create the object for every class we use the new keyword. Similarly when we are creating an object for integer class we use the new keyword again. Followed by calling a constructor of integer class in which we gave the value that we want to initialize. Right? So this is the basic declaration that we have for our integer wrapper class. Now similarly on the screen now you can see the wrapper class hierarchy. So the object class is the parent class of all classes in Java under which we have three categories number class, character class and boolean class. Now under number we have all the six number data type classes. So we have byte for byte, short for short, integer for int, long for long, float for float and double for double. Right? So now let's jump into Eclipse and let me quickly show you a few of the functions that are provided to us by this number class. So this is a simple class that I have created. Now let me quickly write system.out statement and inside that let me show you a few functions. So we have math.abs. Now what this abs function does is it takes any number positive or negative and give you the absolute value. So let's say we give minus 25.5 in here. Save and run. So you see the output is 25.5 because dot abs that is dot absolute value will give you the absolute value of whatever parameter you pass inside it. Alright, next let's take a look at ceiling function that is CEIL. Now what the ceiling function does, it gives, it does a round off of the number and that is a round up. So even if you have 25.3 and you put it inside the ceiling function, when you run it, you will get 26 because it rounds up the value. Similarly, we have floor function which does the contrary of the ceiling. So if you have 25.8, when you generally round it off, you say 26, right? But the floor function 25 because it does round off to the bottom value that is 25. Now next up, we have another interesting function called max. What max will do is it will give you the maximum of two values that you pass as parameters to this function. So let's say we give 25.8 and 12.4. Now again save and run, you get the maximum value. Similarly, we have minimum to give you the minimum of two values. That is 12.4. Now let's say you want to calculate the power of some number. Let's say we want 5 to the power 3. So we have the function pow to do that for us and 5 followed by the power 3. So save, so save and run. That will give you 125. That is 5 into 5 into 5. Now let's quickly take a look at one more sqrt. This will give you the square root of any number. So save and run. So you get the output 3. This 3 is the square root of 9. So that was it. Converting a primitive data type to an object is also known as boxing. And sometimes this is automatically done by our compiler, hence known as autoboxing. Similarly, when you convert an object of any data type into the primitive type, it is known as unboxing.
right so you have seen the few of uh, functions right now go ahead work out with the rest of the functions do a few examples on your own to get a feel of what all functions do we have in math class don't forget to subscribe because there are many more interesting videos coming up on the channel hit the bell icon on the page so that you keep getting updates on what is coming up next on the channel and don't miss out on anything until next time guys happy coding